Hi everyone, you have followed to play next. You bring everything that is awesome in gaming. This is so super cute. If you played um, Terraria, I just, I fell in love with the way that this looked and I wanted to check it out. So this is the settlings. Um, it's got some sort of a timer on it. And these guys um, are like little lemmings where uh, for some reason you have to coach them along. Settling is run automatically from one direction to the others, unless they hit an obstacle. High walls, fire, camps, I mean campfires, and signs are considered an obstacle. Bring the five settlings to the Zeppelin. So it's this weird combo of um, Terraria and... Um, they're still developing it, in case you somehow managed to miss that. I usually like let them do their thing and see what it is that they need from me. So they're gonna walk back and forth from here. Um, what do I have for my stuff? Clicking is not doing anything for me. Oh, okay, hold on. So I can go up or down, only as far as this though. I can go left or right. What other options do I have? Hold on, how far right can I go? Can let me keep going there not. Alright, so this is a Zeppelin, and I need at least five settlings. Space pauses it. So you have a pause button, that's kind of fantastic. Enter, tab, shift, control, alt, escape. Uh, hold on. Shoot, options. Music volume, it doesn't tell me, okay. This is an alpha version of the game. Yes, yes, we know these things. We like to find them before everyone else. It's our thing. All right, so we, we're spitting out settlings here. It tells us how many. That is not a load screen. There we go. First steps, use right mouse button. Oh, it tells me. Sometimes I don't read. I never learned to read. <laughs> use left mouse button on the settling to change their move direction. Use the right mouse button on objects like fire camps or signs to change their state. First steps, use right mouse button on a sign to change direction. Use right, right mouse button on a fire camp to start the fire. Use escape to reset the level. Use escape to read this again. Okay, so I wasn't supposed to, you know, automatically be smart. That sign will change their direction. I don't know if they can climb. Oh, it looks like they can climb. Look at that. Okay, so this will put them up and over the boxes, which it wasn't previously doing. So that was my one obstacle that I failed at. This is pro gamer here, 30 years in the industry. Oh my God, 30 years in the industry. Tell me I'm pretty. Tell me you want to play video games with me. Write me a poem. This is, that was tragic how long I've been doing this. One of the first games that we did fall in love with was, oh, they're all gonna die now, was Lemmings. Um, one of the reasons that we love Lemmings so much is because they let you kill off your lemmings. It was one of the oldest PC games on the face of the planet. And um, the concept behind it was that these little lime green haired guys were going to actually kill you. That was kind of the thing that kept it, you know, motivational. Was that they were like deliberately doing this to everybody who ever played lemmings felt that. It was back when we had flying toasters and the babies. I can only say five? So if I wanted to be a good person there, I would have had to actually go through... I want to see the second part of the tutorial. That was brutal. You people, there's something wrong with you. Tell you what, devs are interesting creatures. Um, they realize that they're going to play God. They're aware of that fact. Use LMB left mouse button to place a simple construction. Finish the ladder. Build a bridge using wooden boxes. Ladders can be placed over blocks. Only one settling can climb the ladder at a time, so they will back up. Use the left mouse button. Use the left mouse button to place a simple construction. You can buy simple construction using, using copper coins. Simple constructions can be accessed via the bottom bar. I have a bot. Oh, okay, so I can put things here. So we can put like a wooden ladder here and here. Okay. Now they're going to climb that ladder. No, they're not. No, they're not. Nonsense. All right, so they should just hop right over this, and then I'm gonna need like a wooden block here, here, and I think here. 
after that I can do something here, which maybe will not kill off all of my settlings. They're using the guilt aspect that they use in very interestingly. Oh, no death from fall damage, interestingly enough. Um, so I can go ahead and explore a little bit more. Hmm. I have to put something else in there. Instead, we'll put them on the Zeppelin and allow them, you know, to continue onward. So he could have had a home, but instead he's going to get on the Zeppelin because it doesn't look like I can kill off my own construction. You make me sad, friend. I can't put anything there. I can put this here, though, and that'll send them into the home so they don't have to die. Um, the objective in Lemmings is always to get a certain amount of Lemmings to the exit, and you have to, as you progress through the levels, accept your losses. In this game, obviously, it's very different, where you can choose to have them have a better life, but ultimately you do just want to reach your goal. And um, we're so used to the fact that a developer is behind this, that the DSX Machina aspect is a little bit lost to us, you know, where we don't feel like we're being manipulated by a computer anymore. If we're hacked, we know it's a hacker. If it crashes, we know it's software. We know that software and games are, are um, created by developers, so... Go to the inn, friends! Live your lives! This is just such a cute little game. I loved the attention to detail. Um, they kicked it up a notch with the graphics. The tutorial is smart. So I just wanted to bring it to you large. You can support these guys, follow them along on Twitter, wishlist their games and that sort of thing. It doesn't cost you anything to do it. Um, that's what I love about the indie community is if you're a high roller, you can go in there and flip. If not, you know, you can spend a dollar or nothing um, and just really support a developer in their journey. Click the tool on the bottom bar. Use this tool with left mouse button on a settling. Axis and picks, pick axes are tools needed for resource gathering. They can be sold for copper coins. So I have to build up a bank is the other thing that they're doing to us here. Um, that's where I took on the terraria aspect where you really are building um, instead of my, like you mine the resources out and then you let your settle, settlings complete their journey. So it was, it took the base aspect and it just made it into boards. It was interesting. You can only sell wood logs at the town hall. Use left mouse button on a shop to change accepted goods. Okay. So I need to give, like, we can give him an ax. Selecting. Considerably more wooden ladder and I can't get it right now. Oh no, what it, what's going to happen to these guys if they get to here? Okay, so they do turn around. This sign is pointing the right way. What's this one? I can buy things and sell them. Okay. All. Then here I can sell my wood logs. So I have a certain amount of copper, but I still can't buy my ladder. And again here. Like in your axe. So I have um, an inventory that I can work with. I can do pickaxe. Um, so let me see where. This is my little guy with his wood, and he'll eventually make his way up to the tavern, which wants wood. Uh, these guys want metal. So a certain amount of them can settle down and sell that. Like I said, you can make it into a settling, just like in Terraria. Um, you can, you know, make a good settlement, or you can just continue onward and worry about the plot a little bit more. It's an interesting conundrum. So I sold my um, tree stuff, and he's working away. But it didn't give me quite enough coins to buy the ladder that I need just yet. So let's give this guy an axe as well. That'll work for me. Uh, pretty straightforward directions here that I'm going to need this in order to construct a ladder at all. <laughs> I want to do anything with my life. What's this? Okay, so that's one that I can trade that for. The only thing is that I can trade our wood. Wood log, wood planks, stone, gold ore, stone sculpture, carrot, apple, grapes, bottle of wine, apple sapling, sapling. Okay. Why is it not letting me buy a ladder? I don't have enough copper coins, and I really do want to sell that. It's not letting me. Or it did let me. He has like one 
Do I have endless axes? Can I just like equip these guys? Give them the hook up? Get her done? You know? Oh, if I click on something. Okay, so I'm out of axes. I can't sell um, anything but wood there. So it is going to be a minute. Because the next thing that I need to get to... Oh, what's this stone? Can I change this? I get two coins. <gasps> what did I do? What did I do? I spent my freaking money. I'm going to have to reset this. Oh my god. Well, this is the most sedate experience ever. Rather than making you go through the whole board again. Oh, look at that. Look at me go. Hold on. I might have been able to... No. 100% no. Why do you try me so? What did I do? <laughs> Link in the description below if you do want to support the game developer, if you want to play the game yourself. A lot of people love Lemmings, and this is... It added a crafting aspect. I was so excited. Great graphics, that sort of thing. So... That link is down there. Also down there is Gamer Grind. Gamer Coffee shipped to your door. You can have your logo put on merch for nothing bucks. We have an amazing logo. I got this off of 5R. I can't believe it. I love everything about this logo. So you can support us. We love it when you tell people about us and send you know people to our channel. Smash the subscribe button and hit the bell. And what it'll do is show you what we're working on. So if you're really into understanding gaming, you have to bring something to the table when you're a dev in order to be accepted in the mainstream or if you just want to follow along with how it's developing you know check out that thumbnail and see if that's one something you want to spend you know 10 15 minutes on and really just keep up with that or if you want to follow along with our blockbusters um because you like the fact that we know easter eggs or that you just love that sort of gaming definitely smash that we love you guys we love that you're always along for a ride we'll see you in the next video do i have enough money for more ladder what did i do Oh, well, that's me collecting it, because I'm an idiot. Say nice things to myself while I game. <laughs> okay, how do I get this, though? I guess I just, like, chuck a pickaxe at somebody and declare them God. Go make me money! God of the mines. Find something to hit with that. Nothing down here that will satisfy you. Oh, they're going to carve into the wall. That's coming in. Okay. I guess they'd still go up the ladder, or they'd turn around and have a better shot at it. It's not like I'm hurting you. Don't make me feel bad. <laughs> so I have X amount of stuff. I want to change that to stone. I want to change this to stone. How? Where does he have to carry this to turn it in? What is this? They put it in a little box and send it up there? Senor. Hold on. What's in the box? And it gets up to the store. And I can change that to stone. So this one does stone and this one does wood. Neither one of these things is letting me do anything. Okay. I don't have gold ore or anything like that. That doesn't let me change anything to anything. This at least gives me an option. So that, that sent up... What is this? Did it sent up... I can't see. Like a pickaxe? Did he put the pickaxe in the box? I don't he didn't feel like working and he just told me to go jump. That's lovely. And he this idiot put the stone in there. Oh okay, he put it up there and then he climbed the ladder. This will only allow What how do I get the box back down there is the real question. I can't open it. I, I keep clicking. <laughs> I think I might have to reset the game. So glorily, gl 